Hey everybody, it's your girl the Blue Empress. Sorry you haven't seen me in a minute. Well, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see me, but I know I haven't done a video in a minute. I've been trying to come up with what the fuck to talk about. And now that I have thought about it long and hard, I know what to talk about. And I always try to find a particular title to call my videos, and I believe I found one. Which it will be posted once I upload it. But this video that I'm doing right now is a full-on rant. Yeah, people. It's a full-on fucking rant video. Because there is just so much that I want to fucking talk about. It's ridiculous. It's not just one particular thing. It's a lot of things. It really is. So, let me start by saying this much. Um, let's just say this. That a situation happened with me. And someone called themselves trying to try a bitch. Trying to try me. And let me just say this, you're fucking with the wrong one. The one thing that just irks me the most is how people think they so motherfucking above some damn body and they righteous and they perfect and they follow every rule in the motherfucking book. Well, let me tell you this. You're not. You're not righteous. You're not perfect. You don't follow every rule in the book. I can tell you that right now. There might be some people out there in the world that do do that and more power to you. You want to be a goody two-shoes. You want to make sure everything in your life is perfect. That's your prerogative. But in my case, there is nothing perfect about me. I can tell you that right the fuck now. I am who I am. And as far as I know, I don't need nobody's fucking approval of that. Yes, I have a loud mouth. Yes, I am crazy. Yes, I'm abnormal. So fucking what? This is who I am. I've been this way for years. You can ask any and anybody who's known me all my life. My family, my friends, a few employees. You can ask anybody about me and I guarantee you, they will tell you about me. And do I look like I give a shit? No, I don't. Because at the end of the day, I am a grown-ass woman. I pay bills. I am a mother. I am a wife. So what's up? Do not, under any circumstances, think you can fucking change me. First of all, it's a waste of time. There are other things in life that we can be doing right now. Don't waste your time trying to change some damn body. It's not worth it. They can only change themselves. Same with me. I can only change myself. And I am done... Making everyone try to feel comfortable because I got to change my way to make them feel comfortable. Fuck that shit. You don't like me, I don't give a damn. Stay the fuck away from me. You know how they're saying stay six feet away from motherfucker? Well, guess what? You can stay 20 feet away from me. You don't got to acknowledge me. You don't got to say nothing to me. Ignore me. Act like I don't exist. And trust me, there's plenty of people who know how to do that very well. Continue doing that. Because I'm not changing for no motherfucking body. And to that certain individual who tried me, do it again. Because this is what you're going to get. You give me respect, I'll give you respect. You disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect your ass. Don't think for one second that you're going to sit over here and try to ruin something in this bitch. You just got here. I've been here. Everyone knows who I am. You don't. You judging. Right off the bat. Why must I have to check a bitch? Damn near almost every job I've ever been at, I felt like I had to check a bitch. Stay the fuck out of my business. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm not bothering you. Don't bother me. You bored? That's your problem. Go find something to do. But don't go fucking with me to make your life easy. Because I'll make your life a living hell. I'll drive you nuts. Now, that's one thing I had to get off my chest. I'm done with that one. Number two. I, I want to know, and, and if my royal men and royalists can give me an answer, please put it in the description box below, please. In the comments below. Just does someone tell me, 
who in the fuckery came up with COVID-19 parties? Who came up with that concept? I really want to fucking know who is the Neanderthal, who is the fucking moron who came up with COVID-19 parties. A customer was, was talking to me about this. Yes, I do have conversations with customers. Yes, I do. There's nothing wrong with that. Not only I help customers, I do chat with customers because that's what you're supposed to do. Engage with customers. And that's what I do. So, I don't know word from word, but she was telling me that somewhere down south, she didn't know whether it was Alabama or Mississippi. I looked it up. It was Alabama. And she said that somebody was throwing a COVID-19 party somewhere along the lines that there's like an infected person with the with the um the COVID-19 virus and they they got they put money in a hat or a bowl I don't give a fuck what they doing it's so stupid and whoever contracts the virus they win the the money something along that line what 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 in the fuckery is going on why who who would do this who would come up with that stupid concept this world already is still recovering, trying to recover from this shit. And no, people, it's not over. No, it's not. It's definitely not over. I can tell you that right now. But there are certain states that are back to square one because nobody wants to wear this. Nobody wants to wear these. And that's another problem. Why? Why? It's so hard. To follow a simple instruction. Wear a mask. Wear a fucking mask. I don't know if you're up on current events, but this is a new trend. This is a fashion trend. I'm seeing it on Instagram, left, right, and sideways. You got chicks wearing outfits with the matching mask to go with it. It's a fashion trend. But apparently, you're taking away my constitutional rights. Motherfucker, what constitutional rights? involving this mask what constitutional right please let me know to my royal man and royal ex, if you know the constitutional right involving a mask please let me know in the comments below please i want to know now i remember in the beginning when this whole thing got started they say wearing a mask ain't gonna do nothing there's no reason to wear a mask and yes a few weeks later then they said okay it's mandatory to wear a mask some people followed that rule some people did not so, this last Monday that just passed, our governor made it mandatory that we all have to wear a mask. And if you don't, that is a $500 fine that will be coming out of your motherfucking pocket. So, honestly, is it really worth it? Are you really willing to pay $500 for not wearing a mask. Is, is it really that hard? I don't like wearing it either, people. I don't. Especially I have to wear it during the duration that I work. So, the, the, the problem is people say, well, it's hard to breathe in these things. You do know they have breathable masks, right? So, this is one of my masks. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk as loud as I can because I know it's hard to understand people when they have this on. So I'll try to talk as loud as I can. So, the problem is people say they can't breathe in this mask. Now, mind you, if you can see this little ball right here, this is for me to adjust the mask. Now, the reason I have it like this is because it tends to slide off at times. Cause I chew gum underneath here too, so you know when I um go like this, it slides down, so I have to pull back up. You know, I do that. But if it's too tight, I can adjust it. That's what I can do. And then, if I need to take a breather, I go like this. Take a breath. You know, it's kind of like when you're underwater and you come up for air, is what it feels like. Then I slip it back on. You can do that. 
if you can't breathe. You can do it like this. Take a breath. Put it back on your face. As long as it's on your face. But do not come into an establishment without wearing a fucking mask. Because your ass will get kicked the fuck out to go get a mask. It's not that hard, people. So let me get this straight. You prefer to not wear a mask, hence there's a possibility you will get the virus, instead of wearing a mask that will prevent you from getting the virus. Nobody knows how to fucking science! People got the IQ of a fucking ant. Nobody cares. Just don't. Hence, people don't give a damn about when it comes to certain items. I didn't had customers cop four things of disinfectant wipes when the sign clearly says one per customer. Then when you confiscate it from their ass, they give you this look like, oh, how dare you? No, bitch, how dare you? There are a lot of people that were not even fortunate enough to get disinfected wipes when this whole pandemic started. And you have the nerve, the motherfucking nerve, to cop four containers of disinfected wipes for you, yourself, and only. Fuck you and everything you stand for, you selfish motherfucking hoarder. Okay? That's exactly what you are, hoarders. That's fucked up. The same issue when it came to the paper towel, to the motherfucking tissue. That was another damn item that was selling like fucking hotcakes that you really barely couldn't find. Hence, the hand sanitizer, another item that some people weren't fortunate enough to get. And then, of course, then there was the mask. We had a shortage of masks. But now, everywhere you go, they have masks. There's no excuse we all want this shit to be over with. Okay? We want this done. We want this fucking COVID-19 to get the fuck up out of here. People, wear a fucking mask. Because if you don't, the numbers are going to go up and we're going to go right back to square one. And what I mean by that, we're all going to be stuck in our houses again and the non-essential businesses are going to be closed down yet again. Then you're going to be at home talking about, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck, no bitch, what the fuck is, you should have wore a damn mask like you were supposed to. But you sitting over here talking about, you're taking away my constitutional rights. If I had the right to put my foot up everybody's ignorant ass, I would do it. And if there was a way I can just get away with it and not be punished, I would do it. Free ass whoopings. I got nothing but time. But, as I said before, you can't change anybody. You just can't. It's a waste of time. People are going to be themselves. They're going to have their beliefs. They're going to have their own morals, their own fucking values. And you got to have no choice but to just fucking deal with it. But in my case, it's like, you know what? I haven't let this pandemic get to me anyway. The only thing I can clearly say I've been bitching and moaning about is my nails. That's it. I just missed getting my nails done because that was the only way I was pampering myself. That was it. That was. The, I think that was probably the main thing I was complaining about and I was angry about. And that my kids were no longer able to be in school because of this pandemic. Because there's none of the schools have been open. They completely closed down all the schools. My kids have been stuck up in the house since this whole thing started. They miss their friends, they miss their teachers, they miss going to school, and please believe me, I miss them too. I miss them going to school. But for safety reasons, they have to stay home because nobody else needs to be getting this damn virus. And you know, and that's the, the worst thing for a child to contract the dog on COVID-19. Hence, I believe the customer that told me about these fucking COVID-19 uh, parties, I believe she did tell me a child died from this virus. To the dumbasses that came out, that came up with the whole fucking COVID-19 parties, man, you get bitch slapped. Left, right, and motherfucking sideways. Because for any person to come up with that fucking concept is a dumbass. You are cruel, you are inhuman, you are disgusting. To even come up with that concept. That is foul. That is stupid. 
we already going through bullshit enough with the presidential candidate who's in the White House. I'm not going to mention the name. But you know who I'm talking about. We already dealing with epic stupidity on that end. But then we got other stupidity everywhere. It's everywhere. That's a disease too, stupidity. I had a couple stupid moments. I may not be the, you know, the brightest bulb in the room. And I, hell, may not be the sharpest knife in the motherfucking drawer. But damn it, I got fucking common sense to know what is right and what is fucking wrong. And if I don't know something, I don't know. Gotta educate myself. Never too old to learn. But my God, people, it's just, it's just so much chaos in this world that is going on. And I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I don't know if we will ever go back to what we consider normal before this whole thing happened. But damn it, people, wear your fucking mask, please. Every establishment that you enter, please put a mask on, please. Wash your ass. Wash your motherfucking hands. Keep your house cleaned up. It's not that hard, people. We've been doing this for years. It's just for some of that reason it's more important now. And I'll never understand that, nor I'm not even going to try to understand that, but whatever. You want this shit to be done? Do you want us to get back to what somewhat normal? Wear your fucking mask. That's all you got to do. Wear your fucking mask. Wash your damn hands. Disinfect your house. Have hand sanitizer on you at all times. Stay fucking six feet away from motherfucker. Hell, you can stay 12, 20 feet away from motherfucker. Hey, it'll slow down the motherfucking virus real slowly if you stay 12, 20 feet away from motherfucker. And quite frankly, I would prefer you stay 20 feet away from me anyway. Better for me. Because I'm not the one. But people, I had to get that off my chest. And I just feel that my royal men and my royal lads can understand where I'm coming from. Because I'm done. I'm sick of this. I'm tired of people just not taking anything into consideration when it comes to this pandemic. My God, are you guys not tired of this you want this over damn it wear your mask and, and check this out um my man told me something uh, yesterday he said there was one state that did not shut down at all during the pandemic oregon since this whole pandemic started they did not have to shut nothing down so i'm like you know why I don't think they didn't shut anything down? Because when they heard about this COVID-19, they made sure that everyone wore a mask, that everyone did social distancing. They probably went out and got the protective gear and stuff to put in stores and the fiberglass and all that other stuff. And people just kept on keeping on. That's probably why Oregon never had to close down. Hell, maybe we should fucking move to Oregon. Why not? I wouldn't mind. Shit, it's over there by motherfucking Washington, and we used to live in Washington. It's right over there by California. Hell, California, yay, my school is out there. Why not? Fuck this damn Michigan State. Why don't we just go move to Oregon? Hell, I wouldn't mind a change of scenery. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't have it like that. No, I don't have it like that. But you know what? People, my royal men, my royalettes... <laughs> Please, I hope y'all are wearing a mask and doing everything you can to stay safe and stay healthy and take care of your families. Please wear a mask. That's all I'm asking. To my, and I'm talking about to my royal men and my royalettes. To everyone who is new to my channel, welcome. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Because the last thing that I need to hear is that one of my doggone royal men or royalettes then got the COVID-19 because y'all just didn't take the precautions you were supposed to take. I don't want to hear that. I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. I'm hope I am hoping that you are following all the damn rules so we can knock this shit out and keep on moving. That's all we can do right now. But you know what? Again, I got a dang old 810 page paper. I gotta start typing up. I had to go to the store real quick to get my daughter some things, and I'm about to take my black ass home because I got work to do. So 
I just wanted to do this rant. I had to get this off my chest. And now that I have, I feel like a huge fucking weight has been lifted off of me. And I would like to kindly thank my royal men and royal lets for taking the time out of their life to hear me rant. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Please wear your mask. Social distance. Disinfect. Sanitize. Do everything that you have been doing since you've been brought into this dang on world. Do everything that your mother and your father taught you growing up. Stay clean. Stay focused. Stay educated. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I love you guys. So until then, I will see you all in the next video. I love you. Stay safe. Bye.